Hello and warmly welcome to the Kindle Direct Publishing Flying Upload free version tutorial series. I am Tom and I will explain everything to you from download till the finished upload. If you already watched our POD series, this will be very familiar to you. And if you're new because you're mainly interested in KDP, this is your step-by-step -step guide how to use all the functionalities and also all the features so you can get the full potential. Don't worry, it's very simple, but it can be a bit overwhelming at the beginning, so we do this step-by-step -step guide. A quick word to the KDP tool itself. Of course, it is about saving time and automate your upload, but it should also be about your data management, get an upload history, then also a translate function, manage your manuscripts and so on. But we will go through this during the process. So I would say we start when you got the free version and clicked on the link in the mail, you will land here. Um, you already see your license key and the installation tutorial for Windows and Mac OS. We will capture everything on a Windows system. The installation process for Mac OS is slightly different. Um, instead of following this tutorial, the installation tutorial, you can um, yeah, take this one here. Um, also with screenshots and everything, so it's also very simple and easy. And after the installation itself, of course, you can jump back here to the tutorials because um, after this it's more or less exactly the same. So we scroll a little bit down. First is print on demand, then the tutorials for POD and then Kindle Direct Publishing with the downloads for Windows and Mac OS. Um, by the time you watch this probably here is already also the tutorial section for KDP. So we click on the Windows version then the download of the launcher will start. After this is done, you can open the folder, then make a right mouse button, click on it and cut. Then go to your local disk C, create a new folder, name it flying upload KDP. Go into this folder, then you can paste it, right mouse button, click again, extract all and extract. And then all the files will be unzipped. Then here the launcher will open, click on it. And this was more or less the main installation process you have to run through. You can see here the launcher we have to open. Um, to make it for you a little bit easier, you can take this and pin it to your taskbar so you can open every time without uh, opening any folder system or something like that. What you can also do is make a right mouse button, click on the launcher and create a shortcut. This shortcut, for example, you can move to your desktop. The only thing you should keep care of here is please don't move any original files out of this folder. So for example, please don't um, move the original launcher .exe file to your desktop. Please do it with the shortcut version. And yeah, this is the thing. Okay, after we did this, you can make a double click on the launcher itself. Then often here comes a little pop up with, hey, you want to run this and you can click on more info and click run anyway. And then after you confirm this here, the launcher will open. And of course it needs the license key from us. So we go back to the homepage go up, copy the license key, go back to the launcher, paste it and click start. Now the first time we start the launcher will ask us for our mail. Please use here the mail you also want to use in the future. Okay, then please enter your mail here. And when you have done this, click OK. And then the tool will ask you a second time to please confirm your mail, then enter it a second time. Um, we do this, it's, it's like a password in the end, so we check a second time that it is written right and no spelling mistake is in it. And then you can click OK again. And this time, if yeah, both times the right mail was entered, the download of the main application will start. This takes a moment. Um, we jump now to the next video. In this, you will see already the main application and then we will continue. So, see you in a minute.